Food and Brew, and it was wineries. It was more during the day. It went into the night, but it was more mellow, low-key, piano music. This is breweries. We have more food vendors and more activities, and we have live music. So it's a little bit bigger and more. I don't have the exact ticket sales, but we are sold out on Friday and Saturday. This is already probably triple what we've done in the past. This is a fundraiser for the Fair Improvement Foundation, and we're raising funds for our multi-purpose building. This building, first of all, it's going to house our animals during fair. It's part of an evacuation center plan, so we will house people and animals. It will bring concerts and shows and so much more to our facility. This place is growing by leaps and bounds, and it's very important that we have this building done. Through the foundation, we want to get this going. We have some monies, but it's not enough to build a huge building with all the bells and whistles. The foundation does work for the fairgrounds for its improvements to make it better for the community and all the people that come to these wonderful events. We are community, country based. We are not a metropolitan asphalt. We love the ambiance and we want to keep it that way. We don't want to overuse it, but we want to give it to the community that people can enjoy. We had Local 701 sponsor this event, and because it's a nonprofit, our breweries were allowed to donate their beer that we're selling. So everything that we're making here today is going to the foundation. So we have volunteers at the doors, volunteers selling the gates. So every single dollar is going into the foundation. That's great, because that means every dollar counts. This is not just Camby, this is Clackamas County. And we don't forget that. We want to include Sandy and Colton and all the other places besides Camby. We love our Camby people there. They support us, but so does the rest of Clackamas County.